Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. So yeah, lots of Prime Empire news, I still have to review Manhunt, and I also want to do my Episode 2 predictions. And on top of that all, we also have the Prime Empire season premiere to talk about, which released in Korean on Monday, I believe. And so I wanted to talk about this on Tuesday, but due to some other events, I had to push it back to today. So nothing too crazy planned for today, I just want to go over what actually happened in this episode, break it down, and explain it a bit, as well as share some overall thoughts on it too. First things first, this episode is titled, Would You like to enter Prime Empire. Very long episode name, it's also up there with booby traps and how to survive them, and out of the fire and into the boiling sea. So yeah, in my opinion, not the best episode name, but that doesn't really matter, after all we are here for the actual content. Now this episode starts like a lot of Ninjago seasons do, and that is by showing how the city is doing after the previous season. And in this episode we get to see a lot of cameos like Gale Gossip, Clutch Powers, Dareth, and Vinny as well, so I thought that was pretty fun to see, and as well as the soundtracks for this episode, the soundtracks are super good good, especially during that opening scene. Now among all of this is also Clutch Powers who is playing around with the teapot of Tyran from season 6, and then he goes off screen and presumably opens it. So that's kind of raised some questions as to whether Nauticon is back. Personally, I think a lot of people are kind of overreacting to this. I mean, it's just a harmless little reference. Now, if they actually bring Nauticon back, well, that would be another thing. Anyways, though, then we cut to nighttime and the mechanic is up to his evil schemes. This time with this group of thugs, they're actually invading some warehouse to find the motherboard for Prime Empire. Not to worry, though, because the ninjas show up and they pretty much fight the mechanic and his guys. And then the fight actually turns into a car chase and the mechanic is finally stopped. The police commissioner comes and he talks for a bit, and then they arrest the mechanic for what must be the hundredth time or so. From there, the ninja decide to go and investigate the mechanic's headquarters, and Jay immediately finds the Prime Empire arcade box, and since Jay is kind of a video game guy himself, he starts immediately geeking out about the Prime Empire arcade box, explaining that it's this old legendary game and such. So while the rest of the ninjas search the headquarters, Jay is kind of a video game addict, and he tries to start up the game but to no avail, but then Jay has a great idea, and he actually puts the motherboard inside the game, which works, but it also sends a shockwave around the entire city, turning every arcade into Prime Empire. So that's right, Jay is essentially responsible for the entirety of Season 12. And so he plays Prime Empire and stuff, meanwhile the ninja are doing some investigations, when they actually come across Unigami. Well, not actually the real Unigami, but instead his computer form from Upgrade, and so the ninja play a bit of a sneaky and pretend to be the mechanic, and then they figure out that the mechanic was actually working with this Unigami guy. Meanwhile, Jay reaches the famous level 13, at which point the arcade box opens up, and Jay enters in. And so the episode ends off on this ominous cliffhanger with the ninja wondering where Jay is and arcade boxes around the city doing the same. I gotta say, obviously this episode is not out in English yet, so I'm not really gonna review it, but just based on this Korean version, this episode looks fantastic. Kicking off the season by actually starting up the plot instead of some random filler garbage is gonna make a huge difference, and I can't emphasize how happy I am that the season is actually getting off to a strong start. If the English version delivers just as well, I think this could be my favorite episode from New Ninjago, even better than any of the Season 11 episodes. So yeah, definitely excited to review this episode when it comes out in English, and it looks pretty good. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone ever you know. Let me know what you guys thought of the first episode, would you like to enter Prime Empire, and I will see you next time.